Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going to go through a different type of video. Um, I've had some questions on this Ms. Blow, uh, I think I'm saying that right, cabinet from Ikea. So these are the cabinets I use for displaying my Hot Toys figures and Sideshow collectibles. Um, I highly recommend them if you're looking for something that's wider and then the Detolf ones. I know everybody, uh, a lot of people use those Detolf ones. They're great if you want to have like one or two figures on a on a shelf and pose them that way. Um, I was looking for something a little bit wider, especially for my Hulkbuster on the, the bottom here. Um, so I used to uh, display my Hot Toys in those uh, cabinets there, but then my collection got little too big especially my Star Wars one and everything on those shelves just it became a little too crowded and I like being able to see the figures and that so um, if you're looking for a great cabinet that uh, has some fairly good width to it as you can see here a um, lot of room inside it comes with three shelves um, so there's four four shelves in total that you can display stuff on. I only have three in this one because the Hulkbuster is just so damn big. Um, but there's no modifications or anything like the Detolf ones. Um, all you have to do is reposition the little pegs on the side there. Um, I'll go through that in a minute here. But um, the nice thing about this cabinet is if you have little kids or whatever, they can't get into it because they do lock. So first we'll open this up here. So just the key on the side here, then the one door opens. And then on the top here, you can see the one little latch here. And then on the bottom, let's see if I can get, uh, yeah, there we go, a latch there. And then both doors actually attach by a magnet which is quite nice because um, they're nice and secure. So there's a magnet on the top here and a magnet on the bottom part of the door as well. So um, the shelves can hold a total of, I think 11 pounds. Um, so I know it doesn't seem like a lot. If you distribute the weight, um, like the heavier stuff to the far sides, like I did with the die cast figure here, um, I haven't had any issues. I definitely wouldn't put that uh, that Hulkbuster anywhere near that shelf, but uh, the Hulkbuster on the bottom there is totally fine. There's no issues with that. Um, so how you can reposition those shelves, you can see the peg in behind Thanos there um, for the shelf I did have in there. The one thing I know people don't like is the gapping for the shelving. So where those screw holes are, See where it on the top there and here, that's that's your gapping for for shelves. So if you want to like say on my Hulkbuster one down here, I could have moved it lower so I had more room up on the top shelf, but you're restricted to those sections. Which, in my opinion, it works in the end. It is frustrating in certain circumstances, but. For the most part, it works perfectly fine. Um, so for dust proofing this one, um, it's got a wider gap than the Detolf ones, which at first I thought was gonna be an issue, but I found a solution to um, dust proof this and it's worked very well so far. So on the top here, I have um, a piece of double-sided uh, foam tape with a piece of just foam, um, like a foam board that I got from like Staples. Um, I just put a strip of that on the top there and it closes up the gap along this top shelf here. The bottom, I didn't have to put anything on the bottom piece here um, because the gap is so tiny that you don't really have to worry about it. Um, on the sides, so in between the doors here is the biggest gap when you close the door. So what I did to solve that problem was I got weather stripping, um, 
which is not the foam weather stripping, which you can use. Um, you just have to measure the thickness of it and make sure that um, you don't get too thick of a, a foam piece or else the door is going to have a hard time closing. That's why I went with like this brush type um, weather stripping. So when you close it, it will kind of compress on the side there. It works really well. Um, and then I also use that on the middle or on the side door here, which closes the middle gap as well. The only difficult part of that is when you close this door and you latch it, if you want it to lock, here, I'll just angle the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So when you go to close this door, you see the foam or the, the brush kind of stops the door from closing. So all you have to do, just on the bottom here, just push with your foot there, and it just pushes that foam in, and there's no issues, and then you can actually lock it. And I feel like it's actually more secure than it was before. So works really well. Um, I highly recommend these, these shelves, uh, or display cabinets, sorry. Um, they work really well. So for lighting, I'll put the link in the description um, for all the stuff that I use to um, weather seal or dust proof the cabinet, sorry. And also what I used for the, the lighting. So there's no actual hole to run uh, lights through. So you actually have to drill a hole in here. I'll move the, the hulk there. So all I did was just take a, a step bit um, and just drill a hole into the bottom here. And then there's another metal piece underneath here. And you have to drill a hole through that. In my opinion, it's a lot easier running wires and stuff through. And it was easy enough to hide the, the look of the wires and stuff with my Hulk. Um, so the wires or the lighting that I'm using, I'm just gonna turn this down. So you can actually dim these lights. Makes it easier for you guys to see. So it's just this strip lighting with uh, 3M tape on the back of it. And it comes in a 16 and a half foot length. So I had a little bit extra left, so I just ran it around here. You don't have to, you could cut it off right here. I did that in my Star Wars cabinet, and I'll show you how that one looks in a minute here. Um, but it has this little remote here. Um, you can brighten it up, dim it, and then power it off there. Um, how I actually power all my lights is I use Alexa for that, and I have um, the... Sorry, I don't know that. Oh, well, she heard me there. So I have smart plugs underneath that are attached to this um, power bar. So on the far side over here, I have a smart plug sitting there so I can use that through my phone or using the, the Echo Dots or whatever I use. So because it has the 3M tape, I'm able to run it all along here and tape it to the side. Um, I do like these lights. I haven't had any issues with them. The only thing is because they're on a weird angle in certain spots, every now and again, you may have to push them down like um, closer to the shelf bit here. So like in this section here, see how it's pulling up a little bit. You just got to push it down and you're good. The rest of it um, sticks no problem. It's just those areas. And then when you um, kind of curve it in the corner there, you don't have to, so that's kind of just your opinion if you want to do that. Um, I ran it there just to add a little bit more light, but um, fix my camera there. Hold on, there we go. So in my uh, Star Wars cabinet, I actually didn't run that uh, light all the way around. Didn't feel like I needed to, and it still provides a lot of light, same as the other one, um, but there's all the shelves. And the nice thing is I find this shelving unit with all four shelves gives you the perfect space for six scale figures.
depending. Except for, you know, like the Hulk, Thanos, and stuff like that. But for Star Wars figures, um, everything is spaced out perfectly. Like when Darth Vader is actually standing up, he does fit in that shelf no problem, even on his display stand. So I'll put a link in the description below for the shelving unit and everything I use to make them the way they are right now. Um, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you want to see some more, I'll probably do a review on my other display cabinet in another video. But if you like these type of videos and want them to continue, hit that like button and uh, leave a comment down in the, in the section below there. We'll uh, see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it.